Last time I made this barbershop. Now let's animate it. To make one, we'll focus on the optical illusion. Three colors, often red, white, and blue, move down the pole in a rotating motion. But uh, this is actually just a trick. They aren't really rotating. It's all just an illusion made by the combination of downward movement and curving stripes that make it look that way. I'll set up a new file in Photoshop, then cut up the original graphic to give us each moving part on its own layer. If you're prone to organizing files ahead of time, this step comes easily. So let's save the finished design as a high quality JPEG. I'll hide all corresponding layers and clean up any lingering details with a little painting. Then save a copy of the background without any of the characters in the shop window. In the new file, I'll create new layers for both versions with and without the center pieces. With the finished look, I'll use the lasso tool and layer masks to separate the barbers, poles, and clients onto more layers. While the blacked out version keeps the background consistent while editing the barber's movements. To mimic the pole illusion, I'll isolate the pole and copy it a few times, stacking each one on top of the other to make one long strip I can later animate. Four copies should do the trick for me, but you can make this shorter or longer depending on the length of the animation. After they're lined up, merge the layers together, fix any unblended spots with a paintbrush, then save the file as a new PSD, ready to be imported into Adobe After Effects. Just like with my breathing tutorial, I'll import the PSD file with editable layer styles and double click it to make it its own composition. All the layers are separated, they just have to be animated. For the pole, I'll set the position, placing it right above the bottom of the case. Use the pen tool to create a mask and cut off the leftover pole. Set the work area to three seconds, then drag the current time indicator to the end. Now the animation only plays for this long, so I'll start right at the end to get it to work. Set a keyframe at the pole's current position. This is actually the start of the animation. To make it move, Set a keyframe at the mask path, then drag the time indicator to the beginning. Now set two keyframes, one for its position and its mask's path. Select the pan behind tool, hold the shift key and increase the Y or vertical amount until it's all the way down. And that's it. Add some glowing lights and move some characters for a realistic effect. <laughs> 